Hello all, welcome to part 5 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain the major mobile operating system platforms and their popular mobile devices. In the previous session, I explained the mobile operating system platforms. Okay, the major mobile operating system platforms are Android. Okay, in the mobile devices, the major stake in the market goes for Android OS and iOS OS. Okay, these are having the major stake. Others have very less stake. Okay, Android has around 71% stake. I explained in the previous session as per uh, current data and all. Okay, and iOS is having around uh, uh, something around uh, 28.5, something like that. Okay, so these are the major operating systems that are used by the mobile devices in the market. Okay, these operating system platforms are used by different mobile devices in the market. So when you have to perform, when you have to perform mobile application testing, automatically what happens, guys? Okay, we'll be using some mobile devices which have this Android operating system or iOS operating system generally. Okay, because they are having the higher stake in the market. So what are such different mobile devices? What are such different brands? holding these mobile devices, okay? What are the type of these mobile devices, okay? What are the operating system of this mobile device? Everything I'm going to cover, guys, okay? Whenever you have to perform mobile application testing, there are four areas that you have to understand, guys, okay? I'll just tell you the four areas, okay? Uh, the four areas are the device brand, okay? You see, every mobile device has a brand. Some company has to manufacture it, right? So if you talk about uh, Samsung, Samsung is a company behind this particular mobile device, okay? And second thing is, which operating system is there in that uh, mobile device, okay? Here, Android OS, Android operating system is there. And this Android operating system has some version, guys, okay? You see, there are different versions for this Android operating system. People prefer to use the latest version anyhow. So let's say in this example, Sam Samsung Android OS having 9.0 version, okay? Nowadays, we have the latest version of Android OS, guys. The 9.0 is the older version anyhow. But for example, 9.0 is the version of the operating system that is there in this mobile device, okay? Company is Samsung. Uh, operating system is Android. And the version is 9.0. And on the top of that, okay, on the top of that, which type of device it is? Which type of mobile device it is? Is it a smartphone or tablet? It's a tablet. It is Samsung, Android, OS 9.0 tablet. So whenever you have to perform mobile application testing, okay, uh, of a particular mobile application, if you have to test on a particular device, then there are a lot of parameters, right? One is brand. Every device has a different brand. Then maybe Samsung, other company, maybe uh, Google Nexus or like that, okay? So then which operating system that is there, whether iOS operating system is there or Android operating system or any other operating system and which version of the operating system is there in that mobile device, everything matters, guys. Everything is a different environment here. Okay, we have to choose the proper environment uh, which we need to test. Okay, whatever the client has given the suggested environments, right? So these four, four items should match. The brand, brand should match. The operating system should match. Operating system version should match, and uh, the type of the device should match. Okay, then only we'll perform the testing on that particular supported mobile device. Okay, so let's go back uh, to the top, and uh, here I I told you already that uh, this Android and iOS operating system have the major stake in the market as part of the previous session. Okay. So what are these mobile devices which actually use this Android operating system? What are the different brands in the market which are uh, uh, manufacturing this kind of mobile devices having this Android operating system uh, uh, in, inside the mobile devices, okay? So we can categorize, first of all, this Android OS based mobile device into two types. One is Android smartphones, other one is Android tablets, two types, okay? Smartphones and tablets. You see, this is a smartphone. Whatever you are seeing in this image, it's nothing but a smartphone, guys. As you can see here in this smartphone, uh, this is a, a logo of the Android, guys. Okay. Uh, if you have this Android operating system, you generally, when you uh, open or something, you'll get this kind of logo. That's okay. Before we perform any mobile application testing, we need to find out the operating system platforms. Okay. The mobile device types, whether it is smartphone or tablet, whether it is Android or iOS or any other operating system. The device brand, I just now mentioned, right? Which company, Samsung company or Google company or which company is producing that brand, okay? Which are supported by the mobile application to be tested, okay? This all these things, version, even version of the operating system also is to be considered. Here only three points are mentioned, but version of the operating system is also can, should be considered. If it is Android, which Android operating system version, okay? 9.0 or 10.0 or 11.0, we have to, okay? 
So based on this four factors, we have to choose a mobile device as a test environment and then install the application in that and perform testing. That's called as mobile application, okay? Testing. There are many brands, okay? First, let's uh, talk about the brands, guys, okay? So the there are many brand companies which build this Android mobile devices, okay? So Samsung is one of the brand or a company which is manufacturing this kind of uh, smartphones, you can say, okay? So having this uh, mobile operating system, okay? The Android operating system, Samsung. Xiaomi is also in the market. One place, Realme, Oppo, Vivo, Lenovo, uh, Nokia, Techno, LG, Huawei, Sony, Google, HTC, and many other brands, guys. Okay, if you want to see the complete list of the brands, you can go to this link, guys. Okay, I'll just open this in new tab. You'll see the complete different of Android operating system mobile devices. Okay, you see Android mobiles. So One Plus, Redmi, Samsung. Uh, I'm not repeating whatever that is already came. Realme. Okay. Redmi, Oppo, Vivo. Then a lot of a lot of companies are brands, Motorola. Okay. A lot of brands are there in the market, guys. Okay. Mobile phone brands are there in the market. You can see here the list of brands. Okay. So these different companies are producing this uh, manufacturing this mobile devices. Okay. So having this Android operating system. Okay. These are the Android OS based uh, mobile devices. You can have a Detailed look on this URL so that you can find all the brands. Apart from the brands, we have to find out the Android operating system version that we need for testing the mobile application. You see, a particular device is there. It belongs to Samsung. Let's assume the brand is there. Uh, you need to test on a mobile device which is produced, manufactured by or produced by Samsung company. That's one thing. Second parameter here is it should have the Android operating system. A particular version should be there. Okay, it should be Android operating system, and at the same time, it should have a particular version on that mobile device having that uh, Android operating system version. We have to perform testing of the mobile application. So in that case, so the below are the different versions of Android operating system version. Okay, Android OS versions. Okay, the below are the list of the Android OS versions from the older version to the latest version, which have uh, which have been released into the market so far. It all started with Android 1.5, which used to be called as Cupcake. It is an older version. Then they used to give some names like put names, guys. Android 1.6, which is Donut, Android 2.0, Eclair, 2.0, Froyo, Honeycomb, and so on, so on, so on. KitKat, Lollipop, okay, 6.0 is Marshmallow, and 7.0 is Nougat, Oreo, Pi, 10, Watermelon. And finally, Android 10, it doesn't have any name, guys, okay? Till Android 9 only, they gave some put names, but uh, at Android 10, they stopped giving some names. It's called as Android 10 only. It got released in September 2019, but now it's like uh, when I'm recording this video, it's 26 uh, uh, November 2022, guys. Okay, and many more versions have come into the market. Okay, so let me uh, let me show you the list of the versions we have. Okay, so what is the latest one we have? Android 13, guys. Okay, this is the latest one. From 10 onwards, they are not giving any food names. Okay, you see till uh, till their cupcake, all the sweet kind of items are there. But uh, Android 13, Android 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, currently, Android 13 is going on. Okay. Which, if you have a mobile, if you are purchasing some mobile device and if you are having the Android 13, that means you are using the latest version of the Android operating system. So, uh, the client requirements may differ here. So, the client may ask you to test on Android 10. Okay. So, we should have a Samsung company mobile device. And on the, in that device, we should have Android operating system having a particular version also. Okay. If you uh, testing on 9.0 is different from testing on 10 version of Android. Okay. So we should be very particular about the version of the operating system that we are going to test the mobile application on the mobile device. So apart from that, so while performing the mobile application testing, we should be clear about the below things. These are the four things I'm repeating from the beginning. First, we have to on which mobile operating system platform, whether it is Android or iOS. That's one thing. Second, on which mobile device type, whether it is a smartphone or tablet on which mobile device brand samsung or okay google or htc or any brand okay oppo vivo oneplus whatever it is on which android version here operating system version also is important 9.0 or 8.0 or 10.0 or 13 we have to figure out okay so based on these four parameters a particular test environment will be considered uh, which should be suggested by the client or given by the client on that on that particular configuration only we are going to perform testing guys okay so example here is Samsung Android OS 9.0 tablet. I already gave this example. Samsung is a brand okay, of the mobile device and uh, Android OS is the operating system platform. 
9.0 is a version of that operating system. Tablet is a tablet is a device type. Okay, tablet is a device type. So iOS OS based mobile device. Okay, Apple is only so till now we I have explained about the Android OS based mobile devices. The device type I covered and uh, operating system version I covered. Operating system platform name I covered, the brand name I covered. Similarly, coming to the iOS, OS based mobile devices. Okay. In that case, guys, Apple is the only brand. We don't have multiple brands like Samsung and all in the case of iOS. Okay. iOS means simply single brand. That is Apple company, the only company which is behind this iOS, OS based. Okay. So if you have a mobile device which is like iPhone or uh, iPad or whatever it is, in that we have iOS, OS which is uh, the company or brand of that particular operating system who is producing that uh, mobile device is nothing but the Apple company only. There will be not be multiple companies here. Okay. So the two varieties here we have are the iPhone, which is called a smartphone. Okay. In case of Apple uh, iOS OS and uh, iPad tablet. Okay. You can see in the image guys. Okay. This is a smartphone and this is a iPad. Okay. So we can also install the mobile applications in the Mac operating system laptop also guys okay not only this uh, this not only this iphone and ipad uh, coming to the mobile devices guys okay so coming to the mobile application testing apart from these two devices okay two types of devices like uh, smartphone and ipad iphone and ipad okay so we also have this mac os laptop also in that also we can install the mobile applications guys okay in that uh, mac uh, os laptop also we can install the mobile applications and uh, we have the apple tv Okay, we have the Apple TV guys. In that Apple TV also, we, we, we should be able to install the applications. Okay, so this applies for the uh, other TVs also guys. Like if you are purchasing some TVs, uh, Android TV, Android operating system TVs also. In the televisions also, we are not now getting it, getting uh, operating systems like Android and uh, Apple operating systems are coming. Apple TV will have iOS, iOS anyhow in the TV, uh, whereas um, Android will have the I mean, uh, other companies like Sony and these companies have this Android operating system where you can even install mobile application, not only in your laptop, guys, but also as part of mobile application testing, you may have to test the televisions also, TVs also. This day, smart TVs are coming, right? So smart TVs, everyone is using smart TVs, okay? Hence, there, there may be requirements for you to perform mobile application testing, not only in the, uh, the smartphones or iPads, but also in the laptops and televisions. Laptops are also supporting your kind of Play Stores or uh, kind of stores, um, uh, Apple stores, where you can download and install the applications. In Apple TV, it's also will get kind of stores where you can go and download the uh, mobile applications. Okay, so wherever there's a possibility of downloading and installing the mobile applications, not only in smartphones, iPads, and uh, Mac laptops and uh, Apple TVs. Okay, everywhere we have to ask for the requirements. Whatever we get a requirement, we have to take that either it may be TV or laptop or uh, uh, iPhone or iPad. We should be considering it for testing as part of mobile application testing, guys. Okay. Apart from the above device uh, types, okay. Whatever in in case of iOS, what are the device types I mentioned? Okay. Apart from the above device types, we have to find out the iOS operating system version, guys. Okay. This iPhone may have an older version of the I, uh, iOS operating system. Okay. Like the Android operating system versions are there. Similarly, we have the iOS OS versions. Okay. So which need to be considered, okay? We have to be particular about which version uh, on which we are installing the application and testing as part of the mobile application testing. We should be clear about that. The below are the different iOS versions released into the market so far, okay? So I, uh, iPhone OS version one, okay? Supported devices are iPhone smartphone only, okay? It's, it doesn't support iPad, okay? Whereas I, iPhone OS version two is also supported by smartphone, but not by iPad. But coming to the iOS o, OS version three, Okay, it is supported not only by iPhone, smartphone, but also it is supported by the iPad. It's supported by the iPad. Then we have iOS version 4, which is supported by iPhone, iPad, and other type of things. Okay, then uh, you see 5, 6, 7, 13, and so on. Okay, more versions uh, may be coming in the future and mentioned, but uh, let's see the latest uh, thing. Uh, we have like 16, I guess, as per today's date and all 26 November 2022, we have this. Uh, Till 16, iOS 16. Uh, this is not only for iPhones, but also for the iPads. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, also, we may be asked to test the iPhone smartphone device or I iPad device having special. This is the device uh, type, guys. Okay. De uh, operating system version, operating system device type. Brand is only Apple, guys. Coming to iOS, only brand is Apple. Okay. 
the iPhone smartphone device has been released in the market in the below different models. I just now showed you till 16 we have. Okay. This is coming to the iPhone guys. Okay. This is overall, but coming to the iPhone, we have till iPhone 11 pro. Uh, this is what is called as models guys. Okay. This is a different thing altogether. Okay. Different models, iPhone oldest model, iPhone 3G, and then we got six iPhone six. Okay. iPhone 11 pro. Now it's like, uh, uh, some different versions are running now. So I think 14, I guess. Okay. iPhone 14 pro max is going on. Okay. Everyone knows this, right? iPhone pro max. Okay. iPhone pro max earlier. It's iPhone 14 pro 14 plus 14, uh, iPhone SE third generation 13 pro max. Okay. This kind of versions are coming. Okay. So, uh, iPhone versions, uh, different models, model versions. You can say this one, it's not operating system versions. These are model versions. So you see everything matters. Okay. Coming to the test environment where you are performing the mobile application testing. Everything matters, okay. Uh, brand that is Apple and operating system iOS, which version of the operating system, which model of this iPhone, which model of this iPhone matters, okay. Coming to that, iPad device has been released into the market in the below. Coming to the device type iPad, this also has some versions, guys, iPad version and all those stuff. And if you see this, uh, the latest uh, we have is uh, what is the latest uh, iPad we have? Uh, iPad Pro 12.9 inch sixth generation is going on okay so this is the latest one this is ipad pro uh, 12.9 okay ipad pro third generation is there here sixth generation is there okay then you see generations are going on so <clears throat> so there is the latest version of os used by apple in ipad models known as ipad os also if you can see here okay uh, uh in ipad there is a separate operating system okay so in iPhone, there will be separate operating system and in iPad, there will be separate operating system guys. Okay. If you see this, uh, iPad, iPad operating system earlier, there used to be the same operating system in both, um, smartphone and the iPad, but now iPad OS is coming. So you see, uh, in iPads only, this is for tablet only guys. Okay. iPad tablets. We have this latest version as iPad OS 16. Okay. So with this guys, you should have a knowledge, like whenever you are getting um, a requirement for testing, uh, that is mobile application, mobile testing or mobile application testing. We should think about which brand or company that uh, the device is being produced by or manufactured by, which operating system, which operating system version, which device model, okay? And uh, then uh, what is the device type, whether it is smartphone or it is a iP tablet or whether it is a laptop or it is a television or any other device types, okay? Mobile device type, we have to think. And all these combinations will create a list of test environments and that approval need to be given by the client guys. And on those test environments only, we have to install the application and perform testing of the application, whether the application is working fine or not. So overall, this is the idea guys. Okay. If you are performing mobile application testing, you should have idea about, uh, what are the different combinations like mobile operating system platform version, brand device, device types, model device models, everything. We should have an idea. Okay. The basic idea you should have in your mind. Okay. So with this knowledge, uh, it will become very easy for you to perform mobile application testing. So I'm going to cover another topic of mobile testing in the upcoming sessions uh, in the next session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.